Hi, I'm Dr. Nathan Ritter from CardioGage.com. Uh, this is the third in the series of the 11 dumbest things you can do for your heart, or down to number three. Number three is cocaine. Cocaine's super bad for your heart. It's kind of common sense that it would be. It's a mega stimulant. It gets your heart going way faster than it's supposed to. It gets your blood pressure way higher than it should be. Obviously, people do it for a reason. It makes them feel amazing, apparently, for a few hours. Um, but it's not worth it, obviously, because then you come down from the high and you want more and you've done some substantial heart damage in the process. Here are some images from somebody who was a cocaine user um, who developed a very weakened heart muscle as a result and um, ended up having to have all kinds of medications and procedures to try and preserve their heart pumping function. So cocaine is a severe toxin for the heart and just horrible for your heart and blood vessels and overall health. Um, I don't know that it would change anything for me to say that, but if uh, you're a cocaine user, please stop. So that's number three, um, dumbest thing you could do. Um, number two, which may seem like sort of a cop out, but it affects so many people and it just seems like such a bad idea. And that's to um, be inactive. You sit on the couch all day long, sitting there, you're not doing anything. You're not using your heart. You're not using your blood vessels. You're not using your muscles. It uh, really messes you up. So we're all designed to move. Back in the old days, we all had to move around to get our food and take care of ourselves, but now we can move around very little. And as a result, we become very deconditioned. When you're deconditioned, you can't withstand any stress. So if you're completely out of shape, nothing but a couch potato, and then you get the flu, well, you know, it could kill you. Um, study after study, you know, scientifically shows that exercise is good for a person's overall health. It improves mood. It helps you uh, control your weight control what you eat, makes your blood vessels function better, um, it makes the blood pressure better, it's on and on, um, can help you sleep better. So exercise, moving routinely, is uh, doesn't cost you anything, it's good for you, and it makes you feel better, and it's something that s millions and millions of us neglect. So that's why I made that number two on the list of the 11 dumbest things you can do for your heart, because if you uh, if you're sedentary, you're really um, you're only asking for trouble. On to number one. Um, probably won't be surprised to hear this, but uh, number one dumbest thing you can do for your heart is use IV drugs. So when you put a needle into your vein, um, you oftentimes can put germs in the blood, and sometimes those germs can get stuck on a heart valve and cause um, a condition called endocarditis. That's an infected heart valve. Super common in IV drug users. It's hard to keep those needles clean, you know, when you're high as a kite. And uh, I think um, it's very hard to pay attention to cleanliness and sterility. I'm sure there are some people out there who can manage it um, when they're using IV drugs, but many, many people can't. And I see basically one person every week in my practice who's had um, uh, trouble with uh, a heart valve infection. I'll see that person in the hospital. Here's an echocardiogram of somebody who was a heavy IV drug user and there's a blob attached to the heart valve. Not supposed to look like this, not supposed to see this blob here. And um, when you get an infection on your heart valve, then that the germs are inside the bloodstream. They can go anywhere in the body. So in this instance, they, tons of germs went to this person's lungs. And this uh, is a CT scan, a special x-ray. Uh, it shows um, it shows abscesses all through the lung, really raunchy infection. Really, the number one dumbest thing you could possibly do for your heart is use IV drugs because you're just going to smoke one of those valves. And I just see people over and over again with it. It tends to be young people. Um, it really sucks, and it's a 10 out of 10 dumb thing to do. It's my top item on the list of the 11 dumbest things you can do for your heart. So I guess it's obviously uh, not a good thing overall. And addiction's a horrible thing. It's a disease. I don't want to make light of that. But there's no doubt about it, hands down. Just a really, really bad thing for your uh, for your heart health. So uh, I hope that you found the list informative, at least. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave them below. I'll try to answer them. And do me a favor and mash that subscribe button. Thumbs up. Helps get the feedback. I appreciate it. See you next time.